sitting on my bedroom floor, staring up at the ceiling. You got me back. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's the SNM Forever. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're also welcome. So on today's video, we're actually going to be doing cleanup for baby's uh, utensils because tomorrow he's officially four months and we are beginning to feed him. So guys, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Clean up the his utensils with me as we unbox some few stuffs from his utensils that we just got recently. And here, let's see how the video is going to fare along. So, let's continue, guys, with the video. So, guys, first things first, we're going to be unboxing with this. This is a baby blender that I have really done a lot of research on it. I hope my research will not go in vain. But anyway, let's begin by unboxing it and see what is inside this blender. Hey, old you. I've been hanging by the phone. So I guess these are things to put in excess food and then store them in the freezer. So if I cook uh, excess food, I'll put them inside here and then I'm going to be storing them in the freezer. This is very practical. And then we just cover the stuff. Oops. Then we just cover the stuff like that and put it in the freezer. And then this is the blender itself. So there is this which is going to be put inside here after the food. You put the food inside there and then you connect it to the charging cable and then you start the blender. We are going to do this together. This is when he's a bit older because we will definitely prepare a bit more food. And then this is when he is a little bit younger. Like this is what we are going to start with blending the food with. This we are going to maybe start when he's around six months because at this point he's four months. So what you do, you just put the food inside here, which we are going to be doing it um, when he starts feeding. You just put the food there and then you put it like this. After putting the food in there, you put it like this here and then you blend the food. This is very nice when he's really small so that you can be able to cook a small amount of food, like a very small amount of food that you're not going to overstock the food. And then these are where you get to actually like put back the food from here. Like let's say you have frozen food. So when you frozen the food, you put the food inside here. You see this way? You take the food and then you put it inside there. This is so, so nice. I feel like this is very nice. And then the good thing about this, it has dates. So let's say for example... Today is the second. There is the second. I hope you guys can see that it has dates. Let's say today is the third. So anytime you like store food in these containers, it has dates. You will know when you have like cooked the food. I guess you can also store this, but I, I am not sure if you can store with these ones. So these ones are just to package the food. As you can see, this is so, so nice and so practical. Yeah, so that is it for this. So that is it for this uh, blender. I really loved it so much. I did a lot of research and quite a few people have used it. So I will give you the feedback as soon as I'm done with it. So yeah, guys, so let's get into the utensils. So this is an extra thing that I bought to put his cereals and maybe uh, things like this. His cereals and this stuff like this. This is divided into two. 
so maybe i can put this in something else which you're going to see along the video and then here i bought his knife his thing to cut whatever and his scissors these are only for him so let's unbox oh my god and i bought actually a <laughs> Oh no, and I bought um, whatever, but anyway, it's okay. So here there's the chopping board. There's the knife, which has its cover, which is very, very practical. Has its cover. There's the scissors to cut his stuff. And then there's this to peel the sweet potatoes or the um, sweet potatoes or carrots or whichever stuff is going to be eating. and then there's of course this to wash his stuffs and then there's these stuffs to store his food when he's a bit older this is when he's young like right now he can eat this portion but this is when he's from six months plus and then there's this stuff that you saw on the previous video also these are uh, when he's a bit older but we're just going to do the cleaning right now these are spoons and his pot and his bib to eat and then this was his little chopping board that i had just bought and his muiko to cook so yeah i guess guys we're going to begin washing the stuffs Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by it Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place So guys, I am basically done with cleaning the utensils I'm going to leave them to dry overnight It's actually at night So I'm going to leave them to dry overnight And then tomorrow as we begin by weaning the baby we are going to sterilize before we uh 
start using them so this is it for today see you on the next video or see you on the next day if this video won't be too long we are going to continue with it if it will be too long see you on the next video bye